Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion and today we are moving on to the F line. We started a little bit in the last episode and then we found the E line and continued on with that one. So we've already done F01, F02, F03, F04 and now we're gonna be moving on with some of these. So if you haven't seen any of those and you wanna see them, make sure you check out the previous episodes. But for now, the fun don't stop with F05. Pop Alicia Station, pop all the balloons before they escape. Oh boy, these ones can be really tough, and I don't know what a recommended weapon will be. Even if it's a splatter shot, that can be good, but the limited range can be scary with it, so let's check out one of the other weapons that it might, yeah, recommended is that. Let's try the Jet Squelcher. I know I didn't recommend it, but sometimes it can be easier. Please pop all 50 target balloons. If you leave a single balloon unpopped, you'll fail, and the balloons will float away quickly, so don't waste any time. Take care out there, will do. So we were at 50,000 tickets there for a moment. Uh, we'll get back to it, I'm sure. Okay, this actually is looking like a really interesting looking level. Okay, so balloon, balloon, balloon. Get it? Okay, so our good range is actually helping out pretty well so far. I only have so much time to pop all of these though before they start just piecing out and flying away. And that's where things can get really scary. Uh, whoa, and I gotta be careful about that kind of stuff because it happens and it sinks. Okay, so I need to bounce. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh gosh, no. No, that is tough. That happened so quick. So unbelievably quick. Try that again. Let's try to be on top of it a little bit more. Go like this and then, got it, got it, got it. Keep moving. Get rid of that one. And then, nice, nice. It feels like I wanna maybe start moving before I pop them all so that I can have at least some kind of control because I need to, Get all those, nice, much better this time. Can I get it? Nice, I can. Got these three, just like that. I got this one leading me on to a new adventure. Okay, so I'm just sort of chasing them around right now. This would be so much more difficult with the spider shot, you know, just normal. I don't think it's, no, is it? It's not a spider shot junior, it was just a spider shot. Would've been so much more difficult with that, I think. Okay, so get up, get up, get up quickly. Got it, got it, got it. Where, 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 way down there? Okay, oh, that, was that a mistake to go down this way? I don't know, we're about to find out. Get it? Because once they start flying away, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like way over that way. Oh my gosh. Okay, be careful about that. That was some pretty good timing. Just a few left, get it done. I'm trying. Got it. Okay, so what do we got now? Yeah, look at that. That was so easy with this thing. I think that would have been so much more difficult with the Splatter Ship Jr., but we got Sheldon. I've sort of noticed that, that each line of a subway has its own theme of mem cakes. We'll point it out once we have all of the mem cakes, but for now, that was F05 done, which means we can keep moving and get F06. Who let the pods out? Duh oh, station, defeat enemies and get to the goal. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I guess we defeat enemies and get to the goal, but what about the other stuff? I don't know. I wonder what weapon will be our choice this time. All right, let's talk to Sea Cucumber first. Okay, so we have some recommendation stuff. I'm gonna go with the Rapid Blaster. It feels like the easiest thing I could work with out of that whole choice. Uh, you're going to encounter a lot of enemies, so be careful not to get surrounded. If you're struggling to defeat all of your foes, there's no shame in moving on. Staying aware of where the enemies are and where you can take over is key. Take care out there. Well, by moving on, he means moving on to a different level, not moving on in the area because we need to defeat all the enemies. Okay, defeat all the enemies, get to the goal. Let's see what we can do. Is it all gonna be Octolings? Uh, oh gosh, oh I see. I see what you mean. Okay, so that was a little scary, but we're actually able to do it. It's a trap, uh, fall back. Oh yeah, it wasn't actually, oh gosh. I was sort of kind of ready for it, which is nice. Come on, gotcha, these these guys are all getting stuck in our ink, luckily. Okay, except for this dude who's still flying. There we go, bam, that'll teach him. I mean, I wonder if I could've just keep moving? Would that have counted? I don't know. Like, do I have to destroy all of them or at least all of them until they open up the warp? I'm not really sure. But for right now, let's go ahead and just try to get these guys. These guys can be tough. They're not fun to deal with. Uh, oh boy. Wasn't actually trying to do that, but that's fine. Get a fill up on our ink, because we still got this dude over here. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. Okay, um, I need to sort of make some distance then. Get rid of the big dudes first, because they're easier to hit anyways. Um. So yeah, we could keep moving, I guess, but isn't the idea to defeat all of the enemies? If I can defeat all the enemies, I will. Uh, come on. This guy's not fun to deal with. Maybe I should've actually chosen a weapon that had more direct hits. That could've been better. Okay, we got him. So we do get this kind of stuff. Oh, oh well, I messed it up. That's fine, I don't really need it. So what do we got going on now? Uh, enemies are falling 
like rain. Oh gosh, yes they are. Okay, so for right now, they they didn't see me before. Come on, ow. Oh boy, that's bad. I need to make sure I, I keep them away. So right now I'm doing an okay job, but I need my uh, armor to come back. Where are they now? This way? Oh, they're like right over my head then. Got it. Come on, got it. I think there's another one on that side. So if I could just get him that way, that'd be great. I'm trying to hit this guy you know, above the ridge of this, so he can't reach me, but I can reach him. And he moves around so much. Just trying to get some direct shots, and that's so tough with this weapon. Oh, I'm out of ink. Oh, I'm out of ink. Just shoot one shot, please, please. Come on, come on, ready, set, fill up. Oh my gosh, why? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why? Okay, somehow I didn't get taken out there. That's like a miracle. I mean, if I could just, you know, jump onto this thing. No, that, that brings me this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it, see, this is what I was trying to do before. And it just brought me around. Okay, so there's the exit. I actually already have access to it. What do you know? Just getting to it's not gonna be easy. But if I go like this, and I go like that, and then I beat you guys up. Come on, I can't get you all this time. I just gotta go, <laughs> see ya. What? They didn't let me. What the heck was that? I don't understand. That was not fair at all. I know enemies are falling like rain. I mean, when they're all like this, it isn't too bad. Let me just get to them then. Um, okay, they're all heading my way. They know I'm here. Like, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I'm such a big fan. Can I have your autograph? Oh, we're being exploded. We got so excited they were gonna explode on me, so I had to do something. Like, what if they really are just like really nice and want to meet me, but they're also just, they just explode. Okay, so we got more enemies coming in. Yeah, we got these guys. Toss it. Did I actually hit anything? Not really. Okay, gotcha. See, that time I'm doing a little bit better. Doing a little bit better at the least. Nice. Okay, nice. Uh, God, it's raining enemies. I've noticed, don't worry. I can't quite reach them. This is why I was sort of hoping for the Hydra Spotling then. Now that I'm like actually playing this, I'm like, oh, I should have gotten that. I mean, I had the chance to, and I didn't, because I didn't really know what we're gonna have to deal with. Okay, so we actually have it open. The problem is actually being able to make out of this. Actually get over there and not get taken out like last time. Defensive overkill, I suppose so. I mean, it makes sense, this is, you know, typical battle. This is probably the most enemies we've ever had to deal with in one single level so far. Not even in just this, but just like all of Splatoon story mode. Yeah, this is a lot of enemies. Come on, did I get one of them? I think it did, very good. Come on, try to get that guy a little bit. I wanna throw a bomb in between them. Come on, come on. Try to get him a little bit more. Fill up on ink, because he's over this way. This guy's the last one. He is the last one, I think. I don't see any other dudes. There might be another one like running around. Oh, this guy right here. Okay, so, doesn't quite see me though, so I can damage him up a little bit before he even is able to do anything. Uh, Buster the front lines. This guy is the only dude who's here. He is the front line. Okay, you know what? Boom, got it. So we get some extra stuff for that that I don't really want all too much. I'll check out how much it gives us. 25, I think so. Looking like it. Okay, that's not too worth it. I'm not gonna spend all my time on that. Instead, we're gonna move this way and complete the level. Nailed it, so we didn't have to fail too much and we only died once, so still a very fun level. Today's episode might be quite short because there's not going to be any um, thing to get. I know where the last thing is. We could see it on the map. So we're not worrying about that in today's episode, and we've already gotten a good chunk of F levels done. So it's about storming through and seeing what we can do. If I do take a double check though, what, what line is this? That's the H line, so we do have a while to go because I'm on F, then we'll do G, and then we'll do H. So yeah, lots of stuff to go on there. Might as well jump station. Jump and shoot your way to the goal. Sure, I'd love to. Sounds like fun. So yeah, let's get to this and see what ends up happening. Hmm, so we got sea cucumber here. Uh, so we can do the rapid bomb blaster with a splat bomb or the rapid, oh it's just rapid blaster. Then we can do the rap rapid blaster pro. We'll just do the rapid. Blaster normal, don't know what, really what the difference is. You'll need to use grapplings here to make your way to the top. After hopping in, keep cool and aim your shots carefully. Keep in mind that if you jump in the direction you shoot, your shots will travel farther. I recommend practicing this technique on the first grappling you encounter. Take care out there. Okay, so, this seems really tough. Because one thing, we don't have really too much ink. Shoot your way to the goal. So I need to jump and then, yeah, okay. Sweet jump, I suppose so. So I gotta get to that one, if I can find a way. I mean, my best bet is probably moving like, oh, that didn't quite do it. Huh. There we go. Okay, I was like, probably have to do that, and I was right. Boing. Boing. 
Nice, that is so interesting. I like the idea so far, but it's also really scary. So I need to just side jump like that, boing. Okay, okay, we got it. Now I need this one. Yeah, just barely too. That was risky. Look at all the stuff we got going around. Oh, it's like one of those little board games. Not really board games, but it was like a little fishing game. I remember that one. I remember that. <laughs> okay, get up here, hit that. So we're supposed to hit all these switches, of course, and sometimes it might be easier by going like this because it moves at the same rate that we do, it seems, or at least roughly the same. Oh, I got it though. Very good. And then maybe move back that way if I can. I'm not having a good time at that at the moment. No, 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 no. All the way back down to the bottom, no. Isn't there a grappling down here that you can use, that you can take you back somewhere? No. There's not, what are you talking about? Oh gosh, I just gotta do it all over. Oh, you mean maybe I could use this warp? No, this is gonna send me back this way. I think I just messed it up, I gotta do it again. Wow. Jeez, that's ruthless. Got it, okay, so luckily, now that I have the focus on as much, I, sh I should be able to get it pretty easily. I do need to jump for that, though, I do remember. Oh, uh, we need to jump over, and then, that missed. Oh, no, don't tell me I want to do it worse the second time around, because that's definitely something I would do. That's not good. Luckily, there's no timer, or we would be done for. There's no, like There's only one life, but honestly, yeah, surviving really isn't the challenge here, which is nice. It means that we probably won't get like a game over or anything. Gosh darn, why am I having such a hard time with that now? That's not cool. Not cool. I survived all of this on the first try. I got beginner's luck, and now it's all falling apart. I really, like, she said there was a grappling somewhere that I could get to to get back. I don't think there is. I don't, maybe that text triggered at the wrong time. Why can't I do that now? Am I doing something? No, that's how I did it before. So I get lucky last time? Is that not how you're actually supposed to do it? That's bizarre. I don't know, I'll try one more time. Come on, boing. Get it? See, that's easy enough. But then, getting across to here. Yeah, that way, okay. So, I had to wait for the reticle to show up a bit more, I suppose. Yes, okay, that was sort of lucky. And then I need to move over to this jumping pad, just like that. Bounce up. Got it. Now, the problem here is you have to sort of kind of do a leap of faith. But you do it, and it works. So, yeah, what are we trying to do now? Where are we going? That way? No, up to this. Nice, yeah, I totally forgot. So now we're back to here. It's not too bad to get to. Got it. And then I just need to hit that. I'm like sort of kind of catching up to it, as it is. So if I could just, that's definitely it. There you go, you got it. Okay, so, oh, it's lowering. So I need to now, what? Yes, okay, thank goodness. What do we gotta do now? There's just so much more. That that looks like look of flying in the sky. He said something there. Didn't catch like half of it. Got that one. That one wasn't too risky, luckily. So now we're just trying to get up like that. Nice, we did it! We succeeded! What a cool challenge. A tough one, and some easy spots to mess up, but a cool challenge indeed. Okay, so that is another F level done, which means we still have much more to go. Uh. It should be F09 now, unless we're going backwards. F09, pound the rock, bring it station, carry the Rainmaker to the goal. And then we only have like two or three more levels after that, so how exciting. We might be able to complete a lot of stuff in such a little time. I mean, I guess. I mean, we could make it like a combo episode with like the F and then EFG, you know? So we already did E last episode. Let's try this out. Your mission here is simple. Carry the Rainmaker into the enemy goal. When you get to the Rainmaker, hold down ZR to fire off a powerful shot. You won't be able to use bombs while holding it though, so take care. Take care out there. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh, look at this, we're on the boat. But it's not really the boat. Looks like trouble. So we've done one of these Rainmakers in the past. It's not easy. Okay, you'll be carrying the Rainmaker this time. No time to waste, go get it. I'll try my best. Okay, so move over this way. Destroy that thing as fast as possible. Huh, this looks like the Mantam area. Yeah, I know. That's what I was confused about before. So like, we could make some paths out, especially, I sort of know some sneaky paths this way. Um, There we go, that helps. Then we can get up like that. 
And I'm just trying to be sneaky for as long as possible, so if I could go up like this. Oh, look who's here. Uh, watch your movements. I'm trying. Yeah, because none of them are really going this way, which is really good for me. Uh, really good for me. We're already out all the way out here. Now, this is a bit of a problem, but I can sneak around or not because of your lucky, lucky missiles. Come on, come on, come on, just keep moving. I know my shield is broken at the moment, so things are looking nasty, but if I could just get a refill on it, just like that, come on, this is it, this is the ticket, this is the ticket, why can you start on that? That's not fair, that's not fair. Come on, come on, no, you jerks. Okay, the enemy has got the Rainmaker. They're gonna pop it. There's no way they're not gonna pop it. If I get out there, there's no way I can get out there that soon. No possible way. I mean, I would love to, but I don't think it's possible, because they're gonna beat me up as I try because they're jerks, once again. Come on, if I could run away with them with the Rainmaker, I can get rid of, run away from them now, right? Okay, the barrier's gone. Okay, hold on, please, no, that is total malarkey. I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. Uh, they've still yet to pick it up, though. It's about to disappear, though, so let's not waste our time. Stay back here. Rainmaker reset, I know, yada yada. That is so uncool, you were right there. Come on, get this back this way. Cause they haven't been in these areas. It just starts with their ink here. Okay, they know I'm here now. They got an auto bomb this way. Don't like that. And I gotta like destroy that thing if I can. Oh, I can't, I can't. This is not a good time to be chased by these jerks. Oh my gosh, how is that possible? Like, I mean, one thing, it's it's next to impossible to splat somebody with this thing, especially when it's like five versus one. Are you kidding me? So it's like, you really just have to make a mad dash for it. But at that rate, it's just like, what are you supposed to do? Come on, let's go ahead and pop it ourselves. We're actually able to pick it up this time, and that at least makes an explosion of ink around us, which can be very helpful. Hopefully they didn't reset anything up. It doesn't look like they did, so we could maybe potentially win, depending on how unlucky we get here because of all these missiles. Jump for it. Oh, that's in the way. I thought that maybe we could just go on top of it. No, of course, there has to be one right there. That is so insane. Okay, so we have a little bit of time to get over there. Maybe we can do it. We got over to the other one in the center. You leave me alone. I'm just gonna, you know, talk to the hoof, lady. Talk to the hoof. Okay, so we can go up this way and then destroy this stinking thing. Come on, please, please destroy it. Uh, thanks. Why did the missiles show up at the perfectly awful time every time? Uh, come on. We gotta do that all again. But at least there's no more sprinkler thing there. I mean, it might just show back up again. Okay, they haven't reset it up at the least. Come on, gotta get up there. There is a rain cloud going on at the moment, which is not nice. Come on, come on, just no, leave me, you're such a bully. Wow, come on, it's right there. How close have I gotten now? Several times over. It's so not fair. I don't like these ones. Just because it's just like it's five versus one or four versus one. You know, it's just like, what are you what are you really truly expected to do in that situation? Come on, grab it ourselves, go like this, jump over. They're all over this way. So here's my chance. Come on. Do that to break that stinking thing, but they're all here. Like every single one of them is here. What can you do? Because if I shoot, I knock myself backwards. So it's just like, I don't know. I feel like these ones aren't thought out all too much. It's just sort of about getting lucky about where they are and not really about how skillfully I can use a Rainmaker because there's no chance of survival. Come on, fill that up. At least I'm like working it out a little bit. Come on, I need to I need to break that before they break me. Got it, there we go. You get out of here, you're such a jerk. You are such a jerk. Come on, no, how can I do that? That is not fair. That is now the third time we've gotten out there for that to happen. And it's not like I'm trying to the same thing every time. I'm trying to get rid of them, but you just can't. You can't multitask that much as one person against four. I am trying to go after, I know. Don't you dare, don't you, are you kidding me? What can I do now? It's over. It's done. I'm done for. If 50 seconds isn't gonna make a difference here, I don't think. That is so unfair. So unfair. This one's really silly. Come on, let's try to get back out there. This is like, it's a challenge for sure, but I feel like a silly challenge. You know, like some of them are like, okay, that's really good, because I have to do this and this and that, just in this amount of time. But this is just like, okay, let's just run as fast as we can and get lucky, and get really lucky, because this is impossible. And that's how I felt about the first one, it was just, they made it a little bit more lenient, you know? 
But now it's just like, okay, let's just make it more difficult. I don't like that. Don't think that's really, you know, fantastic integral design or anything. Come on, just do that. At least it can pop a couple of them. But you know what that also means? It means they're gonna show up exactly where I need them not to. And isn't that fun? So we got seven seconds. There's no way, there's no possible way. Unless they all just sort of give us the win right here. Come on, yeah, they're not gonna do that. Cause is that this perfect spot where they can all attack us from above? And even if I went from that above spot, I can't move because they'll attack me up there. And there's no way I can get rid of them because the Rainmaker has a very slow attack speed. So it's just about dashing over there. I can't just splat them. It won't work that way. So I don't know what the real answer is here except for get lucky. And that's never really a good answer in a video game. Okay, so do this a little bit. Come on, come on. I'll try to land that, but like with how this attack works, doing that kind of thing isn't gonna work. Come on, come on, don't let them break that. Gotta keep moving. Because at least with the other level, you had these little corridors you could work with. And because of that, you weren't really getting the full brunt of all of their attacks. But here you are because it's very open. And I might try taking a different path, but I'm not gonna be able to get up there. So the enemy has the Rainmaker. They have it? Like they're carrying it? because they've never picked it up before. I don't know if they could win. Is there a way they can just win by bringing the Rainmaker over? Wow, what happened there? I pressed jump and there's nothing happened. This is like really stinky right now. Uh, Let me try to get back over there. The replica of Manta Maria is down to the very last detail. It's almost like it is a Manta Maria. Weird. Oh, 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 come on. Okay, get rid of that jerk who's just, just hanging out, just camping. I don't appreciate it. So somehow this is still over here. So like that's why it's just like getting lucky. For whatever reason, they just didn't feel like getting it. But we still have to do this. And that's sort of the thing. As long as that's there, we are not getting it. And it's just, why? Why is it like that? Why is this one so unfun? Surrounded by a whole bunch of really fun and interesting missions. We got this awful one. I don't like it. Come on, keep moving. Okay, leave me alone. You were such a jerk, you're not gonna leave me alone. Gotcha. Okay, so we gotta get rid of this thing. And I have to get rid of the other one. Oh geez, I didn't even ar notice our armor's broken. So I need to be able to splat that, but not pick it up. Because I need to get up this way. I can't get up that way, the sponge won't let me. So first off, destroy this. Auto bomb. you're gonna ruin my fun. Come on, come on, come on. I need to destroy this right now, and I need to destroy you. Which, <laughs> not happening. How do you do that? Because you can't get up there. And the Rainmaker's reset, which I'm not surprised about. Like, I honestly don't know how this is possible. I'm not just trying to complain a lot. I mean, I know sometimes I can do that sometimes. But like, this isn't one of those situations, I don't think. I think this is honestly just not smart. And that's the second time that's happened now. Come on. So the Rainmaker's just up there. We at least have like almost three minutes. And I guess I can, you know, just pop this. I wish I could have like one teammate, you know? Just like one. One teammate to fend some of them off. That would be cool. Keep moving, come on, got it, nice. Okay, come on, while I'm falling, make that shot, and then get this, please, please, I don't care. Why, why, what do you do? I mean, I can go around the left just so I can get spotted again? Sure, let's try it. I mean, in this position, I can't. Uh. I don't like this, it's so stressful too. It's such a weird idea. I'm glad there haven't been as many as there could have been though at the least. See, at least I'm gonna get lucky with this and I can just, I was like, like I said, it's just about right time, right place. And not really about, okay, I strategically you know, do this and this and that. I don't know, maybe I'm complaining way too much. Sorry, let's move on to the next one so we'll never have to worry about it ever again. So what do we got now? We have F0, not just F10. And this will be the second to last level already. So F10, what's the dealio? Cubular station, collect all eight data points. Let's give it a shot. So this one, we've done a data point one in the last episode and it was really challenging. This one looks weird too. What's going on around here? So we're gonna go ahead and use this right here, the Jet Squelcher, and talk to you a little bit. Please collect all eight data points. Destroy each container and touch them, touch each data point to collect them. Ink the walls and look for a spot you can climb up. Try to take the advantage of the arc of your ink shots as well. Take care out there. Okay, so let's give this a shot and see if this level is as baloney as the last one. So, 
collect all eight data points. Whoa, that is weird. This is super confusing. Okay, I got one right there. So if I wanna get this one, I have to hit that, go like this. Got it, and then get rid of this dude. Um, okay, first one, that's right. So to get this thing, oh, this is so weird. That should land, and it's sort of kind of laying, it's not hitting the button. Oh no, no, it's hitting the window there. Okay. Let's try that then. Come on, why is this not working? Got it. But that's not really the way I wanted it to go, is it? This is so crazy weird. Luckily it's not like timed or anything. I can't quite reach that either. Okay, well, let's just take care of as many enemies as we can. If we can't reach it, we can't hit, or we can't do anything really. Is that, is there something in the way there? I guess so. Am I stuck? Oh, I mean, I guess, oh, you know what? I can climb up this wall. Look at this, okay, yeah. Got it. Got it, okay, never mind. Got that one done. That makes me wanna go back. Cause I didn't realize that this was inkable. This feels like a portal level. <laughs> I mean, I, I made the contrast between this and portal in the past. Because there are definitely some comparisons to make. Okay, so let's try that out a little bit. I do see this dude up this way. I might be able to just you know take him down through just a lot of damage, or just hit him like that. Very cool. So now to be able to boom get this. That's five more to go already. Got some of those. I can switch this over so we can go that way. And then, yeah, it's sort of weird. You can't really control how it spins always. But hey, we got it. We got it. That's it. Oh, get rid of this dude. Got him. Boom. Four to go already. No way to go up that way, right? Oh, oh, we got some enemies. Reinforcements incoming. Well, great. Huh. I think it's gonna be good to get back up this way. Nice. So let's let's try to take a look around because I'm getting really confused. We're like we're walking inside of a Rubik's cube or something, you know. So there's one this way, and can I just walk over to it? I can. Great stuff. Pretty lucky. That means there's three more to go. And one of them is this way. Trying to get you without taking getting taken out is a little bit of a challenge, but we made it work. So where, which way is this gonna move now? We hit the switch, and it's gonna move that way. So now we can do this. And this will be what? Making it so there's two to go? I know there's one right here, so if we can just switch this around enough. Now that's on the wall, so we need to hit that one more time if we can manage. Hello, dude. So I need to get over this way real quick. A moment, ow, I didn't even see that. No, do I have to do them all again? Oh, thank you. The only problem is I'm super lost on where I was. Uh, well, there is one right this way, so if we could make that switch the other direction, that would've been great, but I guess this one works, sort of, kind of. No, no, that works perfectly. That is so confusing. Okay, so there's one over that way, but is it on the roof? Wait, what, what did I do there? How did I hit that? Oh, now we're back over here. I remember being over here before. Can I switch that back around? That's not working. There it goes. So yeah, that, like, I guess there's only two ways it can switch. It looks like it has like more than that. Oh, no, no, maybe those are wrong. I don't know, hard to tell. I need to go through here though and beat this guy up before he notices me all too much. Okay, that did get me, but it's fine. So can I get that from here? Oh, so close, so very close, but not quite. That's sort of a pain, but I can just go up like this. Come on, there we go. Swim up, swim up, swim up. And then I need to hit this and sort of see where it brings me. Because once again, where is the one I'm looking for? It's right there, so it's not quite what I'm looking for just yet. Now it sort of kind of is, but how do I get to it? Where's the entrance? Over this way. Okay, I think we just figured it out. So go up like this. Go on, no, no, go, 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 go. Go over. Beat it up, yeah, we just got it. We just won. Nice, test pass, that's a fun one. See, we get a really fun one after a really strenuous one, like a life training kind of strenuous, and then we get a really exciting one, so it bounces out. So I'm back to being normal. Okay, so that means I think we only have one more level left in the F-Line, so yeah, a bit of a shorter episode compared to some of the others, but a fun one still. Oh, and we got all the uh, mem cakes in the F-Line as well, so you should be very happy. Your collection grows, I see. Six complete sets is mighty fine. No bones about it. I like to see you apply yourself. Does a world of good for my own dream. Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and talk to you and see what we got. New item. 
Well, don't that beat all. No thanks seems enough for this, but thank you I must. How about a small token of my esteem? It might m come in handy in the promised land. Ooh, we got the null boots. Now we have the full set of null gear, which is very cool. Uh, I followed that dream once. I chased it until I could go no further. Don't stumble now. Okay, so there we go. So we can do um, F11, which is also part of J. And the next episode we'll be doing the uh, G levels, which I think are over this way. Um, These are the I levels. These are the G levels. How many G levels do we have? We have one, two, we've already done three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then nine and 10, I think. So 10 levels in total there. So it's getting smaller and smaller. And then this was what? That was H. So I said, well, we get the final thing in the episode after that. So let's not Tilly Dilly anymore. Let us do Whack Attack, Whack Foo Station, defeat the boss, J08, F11. Sounds pretty good. So this will be the last level we do for today's episode, and then we'll be all wrapped up, and then I'll be great. So what do you have to say, a little? Mr. Sea Cucumber, 4,500. To pass this test, you must take down a powerful enemy with the baller. Attack th with explosions by holding ZR. You're invincible, but if you get knocked out of the arena, it's game over. That's about it, time to go toe to toe. Take care out there. Is this another boss fight then? I don't know, my brain's not registering text right now. Whoa, look at this, yeah, it is a boss fight. Oh boy. Who's gonna be this time? Last episode we felt with we dealt with our first boss fight of the DLC. But now. Oh, it's gonna be that guy! From the story mode, he's back! They're all coming back. It's a, sort of the the samurai on a unicycle. The Revenge of the Octo Samurai Deep Sea Metro Summer Tour. Okay. A, uh, get to it, Agent 8. Tackle it head on. Okay, I'll try. Oh no. <laughs> so don't tackle it head on. That sounds like a bad idea. So we can only use this. Keep the grape behind you and fight. Oh, the grape. Okay, so if you hit me, not that big of a deal. That's not easy. That, those are very small grates compared to the, the range of areas he can take me. Come on, ready, jump away, explode, and then jump away again. Got him. Okay, he's getting knocked back a little bit. Oh gosh, watch out. Oh, <laughs> I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, so when he swings, I have to move out of the way and explode then, but that is so tough. That is not easy. Keep the grape behind you and fight, I'm trying to. No, 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 no. Oh, I just barely got saved by the grape. Got it. Got him. Oh, what? It's just there's so many different moves he can make. Hiding against the grate isn't going to help. Okay, so I need to wait for you to attack and then do something. That's my best bet with how this works. But then he knocks you around like a total jerk. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna need a lot of these tickets if I wanna do this one, because this one's not gonna be easy. I don't see how I can... I know keep the grape behind me, but it doesn't really work that way. Like, weird, so weird. Like, very, very odd. Okay, um, sorry, I'm resetting my camera. So I can do this and then just try to explode a lot, but like the grade is right here. Where is it? It's hard to tell because the camera's uh. But then like, oh my gosh. I, I gotta pay attention to which move he's, moves he's doing, but it's so hard to get a grip of that one. I'm focusing on so many other things as well. Okay, so you're just gonna attack me like that. I might as well try to move. Um, Got it. Okay, so explode again, but he's gonna do the swing. Oh, I almost jumped off of it, or over it, which is great. Should I jump, should I move? I don't have enough lives to experiment, which is why I'm gonna be ending up using a ton of them. Okay, dodge that if I can. Got it, hide against the grate, or, okay. Come on, it's not a big deal if he keeps doing that. Uh, But now he's gonna swing, and I can't do much about it at the moment, because it's just a weird angle. No, okay, no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, how many times do I have to hit him? Got him again. Got him again. Okay, got him again. No, don't swing. Okay, I knocked you back, which is nice, right? Okay, back against the grate. What? What? How many times do I have to hit him? I've hit him like so many times. He's back to being normal health now. Do I have to do the whole boss fight in like one go? Is that really what I gotta expect to do here? Come on, come on. Okay. Got it. Come on, swing again, see what happens. That happens, oh my gosh. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. He's gotta pay attention to how his Octo Brush is, because that'll sort of tell me. Come on, hit him again. Okay, so that almost didn't work out. Come on. That didn't hit him. Come on. Oh, don't do that. Boom, got him. He's gonna swing. Okay, oh, I just bumped into him. Oh, is that what I gotta do? What, he knocked me over! That's so unfair! Don't give me the accumulated data, baloney. What do you do about this one? This one is like flat out insane. Like, next level difficulty. I don't know, is that just like a weird theme with the F line? It's like, okay, everything is crazy difficult. I mean, some things have been a walk in the park, but some of it's this. <laughs> I don't understand what you do about this. Like, I'm trying my best, but it feels like really bizarre. Like, maybe there's just something I'm not getting about it. Because it feels like there's, it's hard to avoid actually getting hit. I mean, going just against him. Like, is that something more I could do? Where are you going now? You're going that way. Okay. There we go, that helped a little bit. And then if I could not get knocked back by that, I mean, having him against the ropes is nice. I don't think I can like knock him off or anything. But, I mean, maybe that's sort of the idea I'm getting wrong. Maybe he's like a bully from, no, wait, we, we did it. Okay, at least once. Um, Was that supposed to be the first round done? Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at this. I'm really, really bad at this. That was just the first round. I feel like it did better that time. He looks so angry. He's so glowy though. He's like a different color too, he's not, and that was sort of the same thing with the Octo Stamp. Instead of it being red, he's blue and green, or not green, well, green is yellow. Okay, got it a little bit. Okay, he's riding this thing around, which I do not like. I'm doing what I can about it, which isn't too much. A vehicle in a wrestling ring? This is great to the sport. I suppose so. Okay, got it, got it. No, no, no. But as long as he's against the edge and I'm not, like that's what we're looking for, but that's hard to get to. Oh my gosh, and I'm also just getting beyond lucky. Beyond lucky. Got him. Ow. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Got it a little bit more. Come on, almost done. I'm pretty sure, there we go. See, this time I feel like I'm just getting really lucky though. Okay, hit him one more time. Nice. So we gotta do that one extra last time, right? He's gonna be mad. He's gonna be real mad. So here he is again, he's like, why are you doing that? Rah. Oh, great. So it's, it's back on its side. That means he's gonna start swinging again or something. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, so final checkpoint. At least we got a checkpoint. Got it. Okay. Oh gosh, that's weird. Once again, really lucky. Okay, so if I can just hit him before he swings, that's always good. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Come on, come on. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You see, sometimes it sort of knocks him back. Sometimes it doesn't. Now is my chance to attack, though, is after he does that. Or slightly before, whatever really works. Oh gosh, he almost knocked us out of the park! He got like a double shot there. Okay, so we gotta start from the checkpoint again. But that's fine, because it's a final checkpoint, apparently. Come on. Oh, don't you dare. You you dared. But it didn't hit me, which is very good. Knock me against the wall, please. Oh, you didn't, you didn't, but I got lucky, once again. Okay, come on. Oh. Got you, no! Wow, it is so crazy. This stance means trouble, I've noticed, but only so much I could do about it. So when he's gonna swing, we hit him like this. Come on, got it, and then he's gonna swing again. I'm trying to get around him. That got him a little bit. And then he's gonna swing, got him. No, 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 how did that one hit me? I'm a little skeptical. Got him, come on, he's getting lower, but not quite low enough. That hit him a little bit. No, 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 because he swings more than once. You gotta be careful about that. He's gonna swing more and more until it gets stuck a little bit. Like that, I guess I sort of didn't time that correctly. Got him, he's gonna knock me back, but please just don't knock me all the way over. Okay, so you're gonna do what? You're uh, dodge to the side, I tried to. Ooh, boom, come on, come on, come on. Now get him, now get him. Okay, that didn't quite hit him. Okay, now, 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 now. Okay, one more, one more. He's covered in our ink. Wait, oh my gosh, I just barely jumped over that one. Got him. Oh, here we go, here we go. Beat him. Yeah, get him over time. 
There we go. I'm so sorry. I'm so awful at this game, but we finally did it. <laughs> yeah, I beat him. So our Oct Octo Samurai has been defeated as well. He's not a warrior anymore. Very cool stuff. So that should mean that the F-Line is completed as well, which is super duper exciting. And that means we have a test passed. So what is that? Oh, it's a hat. I like hats. Very good. So Wakfu Station is completed, which means all the levels in the F-Line are totally completed as well. And we can sit back and relax a little bit more. So very cool. And I think that means we'll be all wrapped up, yeah. Look at all of these different things we've got now. We've gotten a ton of them, but we still have plenty, plenty more to get in the next episode of the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Samurai Zebra, so name watch at the end, and you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.